It's been five thousand years since I released this game. I guess it's time for a post-mortem. Why haven't I made one sooner? Well, it's because I found out post-mortems were a thing literally yesterday. I have decided to do this in video format for two reasons. One, it's more engaging and entertaining this way. Two, I have decided to become a game dev YouTuber. Please subscribe. Let's begin. Shall No Legends Sacred Lands was my first game. It took me two years to make it, and one and a half year was spent on a prototype project that led to this game. So let's call it a three years development time. On its first week on Steam, it sold 54 copies. After three months, 190 copies. And after five years and many, many, many 80% and 90% sales, 2,525 copies. This game flopped hard on Steam. In order to understand why my game didn't do well, we have to first talk about how it got on the platform to begin with. Steam Greenlight Ah, the good old days, way before visibility on Steam got bad. And back then, visibility on Steam was bad. Anyways, my game got approved in the last wave of Steam Greenlight, right before Valve shut down Greenlight for good. Basically what that means is that my game didn't actually get greenlit. But Valve didn't want to refund any greenlight fees, so they just approved all the projects that had not yet been greenlit. So my game was released in the era of Steam Direct, but because it was a greenlight project, it didn't get the supposed algorithm nerf that all Steam Direct projects received. And this led to 1963 wishlists before release. That number is quite low, however, back then I had zero marketing knowledge and I had no social media presence. That 2000-ish wishlists was gained internally from Steam itself. Today, that number of internal wishlists would be considered a blessing for me. In fact, if I was releasing my current project with my today's marketing knowledge under the same conditions of my first project, I would have easily got to 10,000 wishlists by now, supposedly. Next, we have the cover art, or as I like to call it, a screenshot of the game with a simple title slapped on it. This, of course, screamed amateur. By the time I released the game, Steam had already entered the realm of too many asset flips and shovelware. At the time, if you were an indie dev, your game was considered garbage unless proven otherwise. Today, of course, that same rule applies, but times 10. So, having a capsule art that looked like this had already sentenced my game to death. Another main reason the game flopped was because I literally didn't know how to market it. I had a list of 70 YouTubers to send keys to, which I emailed them only once on release day. That is not what you're supposed to do. On top of that, the list considered of YouTubers that had very little to do with my genre of game. They were just general gaming YouTubers, and I didn't know how to even look for the right YouTubers at that time. And of course, the gaming press completely ignored me. And that is the end of that. Before the release of the game, I did, however, bring the game to two conventions, CoxCon 2016 and Comic-Con 2017. It went well, but mostly it was just for fun, and I got around 100 visitors to my boots per convention. Note to self and everyone else watching, don't go to a convention unless you have something to sell on site. Like plushies, mugs, t-shirts, collector's editions, and stuff like that. Otherwise, it's not worth the convention fee. And that is the end of this post-mortem. Tune in next week where I tell you how my game sold over 100,000 copies on consoles.